So Thomas Delorme defeats Kareem Mayfield on a 10 round unanimous decision. It was a pretty spirited effort by both men. It wasn't an amazing fight, but it was it was an interesting battle, interesting tactics, psychologically and also physically by the guys in the ring. Mayfield obviously was a lot shorter than Delorme. Delorme used his height and reach very effectively. And Mayfield, as Roy Jones and uh, Max Kellerman pointed out, Mayfield was fighting too far out because he's a short guy and he also has short arms. You, you get some guys who are short but they have long arms. Mayfield ain't one of them kind of guys. He's one of them kind of guys that is short and he has short arms as well for his, for his height. So he was standing off too much in the early parts of the fight against Delorme and Delorme was able to catch Mayfield with some clean shots that kind of rocked Mayfield early in the fight. I believe as early as the first and second round Mayfield got rocked with a few shots but gradually as the fight went on he started taking Delorme's punches a bit better or maybe riding them a bit better and towards the middle rounds he started pressing the action a little bit more he realized he couldn't stand on the outside against Delorme Delorme's arms were too long, he was too tall and he was using that height and reach advantage Delorme was landing good counters especially his left hook and his jab was you know, nothing special but it was keeping uh, Mayfield at a certain distance so it was doing its job and in the end Delorme just won too many rounds and Mayfield left his charge because he did make a charge at the end of the fight the last few rounds Mayfield really tried to put under pressure especially in the in the uh, 10th round he tried to put under pressure and get the stoppage but it was too little too late but one thing has to be said in the 10th round possibly even before that but especially in the 10th round as far as I'm concerned Delorme should have been deducted points for holding because the holding he was doing was excessive and I'm not sure which guy on the HBO team was saying that he believes Mayfield could have got out of the clinches. That's not what I saw. The law may seem to have a very tight vice grip on Mayfield's arms anytime he got anywhere near him. And he would not let go until the referee called break. And he was doing it every single time that Mayfield got close. So Mayfield wasn't able to get off punches. You saw at times Mayfield struggling to get out of the clinch and get a hand free and start throwing. But the law may's vice grip you know, uh, a clinch was just too strong. So I personally believe that was excessive holding and he should have been deducted a point. Steve Smoger is one of those referees who does allow a lot of clinching. Okay, he does allow a lot of clinching. Now, there's a difference between clinching and leaning on and stuff like that. Uh, Roy Jones uh, talked about the fact that um, Delorme was clinching, but he was clinching correctly. Now, I've, I've never really come across that term before, but Roy Jones obviously is a professional for many years. He says if you clinch correctly, referees tend to let it go. Or if you clinch incorrectly, whereas you're, you know, if you're leaning on your opponent or throwing your opponent around, that's when you'll have problems. So I don't know about that, but Smoger's just a guy in general who allows a lot of clinching in fights. If you've seen him referee, I believe it was, was it the Carlos Molina against James Kirtland fight? I think that was Steve Smoke, but. Anyway, Smoger's known for letting fights go on with a lot of inside work and a lot of messy, you know, clinching and stuff like that. He he prefers to let them scrap it out rather than be breaking them every two seconds. So it is what it is. But me personally, I would have preferred to see Delorme warned for excessive holding. There's nothing wrong with clinching here and there, but to me it was excessive and he should have he should have been warned and possibly had points deducted but nonetheless I thought the result was uh, a fair result I think Delorme did win the fight he landed the cleaner shots and over the course of 10 rounds I think he showed he was the better fighter so he goes on to bigger and better things and Kareem Mayfield has to regroup from this so drop your comments below let me know how you felt about the fight do you agree with me do you disagree just let me know how you feel this is Hatman I'm out